There's a creek cat in its natural environment. Meow. What's up machine freaks? I just want to begin this video by saying this video could get a little bit insane. Not in a bad way, probably just a confusing way. I guess let's just begin. So as you guys can recall, I ordered a hood for my truck. When it came in, it came in damaged. I didn't know it, so I signed for it, but the body shop dude knew it was way screwed up. So things just started getting out of hand. I was out money, I was out time, I was out energy, all this kind of stuff. But the way everything went down, I ended up having to go to the shop three times instead of one time. If I did it right, I would only had to go one time. I can't believe it's already fall. It's crazy how the temperature just dropped. A week ago it was 100 degrees, now it's down to like 70. You have to bundle up like it's winter on a motorcycle. I just got back from the shop on my motorcycle. The company that sent me the hood asked me if I could take pictures and documentation of the damage on the hood. For some reason I wasn't smart enough to do that on day one so I had to make a second trip. Let me correct it, a third trip. Still no refund but I will update you guys once I get answers. <laughs> He likes it now. Car. <laughs> he dropped it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You can go on like 15 or whatever, however fast it is. You feel like you're gonna die. <laughs> I have yet to hit full speed, but I bet you it'll do at least 25. Yeah, it's, it's freaky though, dude. Yeah. You can't run no 25 mile an hour if you fall off. <laughs> you're going face first. Yeah. Yeah, you, you you did very well, I have to admit. From the little bit I rode it, it's very hard to turn around on a road like that. He's freaking flying. <laughs> Burnout. Yeah. Check this out. Get a shot of this. <laughs> Get torque. Does have torque. There's a creek cat in its natural environment. It's got very green eyes. Just chilling. This day just keeps on getting better and better. Look what came in the mail. Those are nice. Prince, what do you think of these? Those are cool, aren't they? We went to a grad party, and there's a few dirt bikes here. Zach let me take out his new bike. Usually they're a little bit wider. This one is narrower, but I've never had a brand new tire ever on a dirt bike, so that might help <laughs> it too. <laughs> You're spoiled right off the bat. The front tire is in good shape too. How long have you had this? Uh, a week. A week? Yeah. Okay, so it's still new to you. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, you 2000 for it. You like it? Oh, yeah. I love it. Is this Except a, the back fire. The back fire, yeah. He says it's backfiring. He said it's probably the carburetor boot if you go on the other side. You can see that it's cracked right there. But, yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's a fun little machine. Don't you think, Jake? I like it. Jake took it out, too. And whose bike is this? Uh, some guy. I don't even know. Oh, okay. And that one's that one's older. Yeah, it's a 06. This is a 08. This party's got a bounce castle. Is anybody in here? Oh, I thought I could dive right in it. This is a door. I dove right into a door. I can't do it for nothing. This is what Jake's trying to accomplish. Hope it hurt. One time a year it hurts. <laughs> That's probably the biggest TP I've ever seen. Today's mail time and video is sponsored by Soy Lent. I gotta fix my tablecloth. Soy Lent as a company supports the same idea as I do. They support creativity and efficiency. So there's no surprise that they wanted me to try out their new product. Coffeeist. 
Basically, coffeeist is a meal in a bottle. It has a coffee taste to it. Not only are you getting a meal in a bottle, but it's also caffeinated. When you go ahead and order a case of coffeeist, they also donate to somebody in need. And if you use this code right here, coffeeist, you get 10% off your subscription fee. <laughs> So the problem I ran into is the self-propulsion isn't as good as I thought it would be. Now I'm going to take it apart see if there's any adjustment I can make. I thought this was going to happen. When I usually mow the lawn, I have to push really hard. The, the wheels barely spin at all. That really sucks. I thought the belt was just slipping and I thought I could adjust that. Looks like the belt's spinning fine. It's probably a worn out gear inside the gearbox or on the tires. Wish I had a better mower to begin with. I have the ideas, I just don't have the equipment. Or the quality merchandise. <laughs> If you guys want to know how I accomplished that, leave a comment in the comment section below. I will get to it in tomorrow's video.